Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Questor, an arcade-inspired action roguelike that we're going to be checking out here today. Out now on Steam. No demo, no nothing. The game is just straight up out. Said there was a tutorial in the setting, so that is what I'm going to be checking out here. Once you start moving, you will keep on moving until you run into a wall. Okay, more specifically, it's yeah, it's kind of like it's it's snake controls. Like if I press down, I keep on running. That's me I tapping up. I'm tapping down to make it clear. So this is going to be like kind of a very slidey thing. You have to preempt your movements, sort of like a snake or Pac-Man or something. You can jump over things. You can jump for free when the bar at the bottom is full. If it is not full, it costs a power. Okay. All right. And our po <laughs> I like that. Our power meter is filled up with each letter. Like, each letter is a bar of our meter. I like that. That's very old style. I enjoy it. Attacking uses power. Pick up coins to refill the power meter. Okay, so we sort of, like, we're sort of jousting, in a sense. Gotcha. Defeat enemies in quick succession to build up a combo. Combos give you bonuses during a 3-plus combo. Jumping over enemies, attacks, and pits spawns a golden power coin. Okay. Power coins appear around the level regularly, so pick them up to refill your power meter and keep on battling. All right. All right, all right. So let's get that uh, that wombo combo. Okay, so do we get we get a combo when jumping over the pit as well? Okay, combo broken, lose points. What happens if we... I mean, I, I'm assuming we're kind of just done here. I think that's the whole kit and the whole caboodle. Unless I'm missing something. I don't see any other... Uh, Oh, okay. Oh, it's just on a timer, I guess. Once you're ready, you can leave the tutorial at any time by going through the pause menu. There's so much to see and explore, so good luck. Great. I, I love that. I love, you know, the simplistic basics of just a tutorial that will, like, get you in, get you out really, really quick. Uh, how many characters do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. Nine different characters. And then, I, I believe there is no meta progression. I think that this is actually just upgrades that you can find in the runs. It's just showing you... I, I, I guess this is just showing you this is what the knight has to offer. These are the upgrades you can expect as the knight. Which, hey, I, I dig it. I like it. Let's you know what's unique about them, I suppose. Oh my god. I, I, am, I am expecting this to be brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Like, a combination of... Arcade inspired and roguelike inspired is sure to uh oh my god, yeah. Jump into the last moment is tough there. What the heck we have there? Okay, I want to jump ahead. No power! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's so slidey! It is really, really slidey. We're gonna be falling into lots of pits, let me tell you that. Because you have to you have to be moving in a different direction before you make it to the pit. You can't like perfectly react <laughs> once you're once it's like a little too late you're you're in the pit there's no no stopping at that point refill your power meter gain some xp and attract more monsters we can sure uh attracting more monsters could be terrible could also be fun so what's with the uh, transparent coin okay hold on uh but it's, yeah, everything is, it's about preempting the enemies more than anything. Ah, I thought I was going to jump and hit him there more than anything else. I missed a diamond or something here, which is oh so fun. Man, there, there is a lot to, uh, to keep track of for something that is so simple. My sword was out, but the enemy wasn't alive yet. Great, great. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right. So we, we cannot, like, preemptively get the enemies. The sword hitbox is indeed the damage hitbox. We do not gain a, uh, a damaging hitbox on our character while the sword is out. It is straight up. If you're... Oh, a crown? That seems important. If you are not hitting them with the sword, you're not hitting them. Like, which is understandable, logical, magical. Okay, good. I'm not going to get down to those coins in time. What do we got here? Increase your power coin appearance rate for just for the next room. So, okay. So we have three things. This is a really clever system for like a, a consumable, more or less. I have to decide if I want to use this preemptively in the room or not. Fine. I, I'm really, really low on power. So that seems nice. Okay. 
Get the coin, get the coin, get the coin. Go, go. We have a huge combo. Power coin, power coin. Good, good, good. I'm really curious to see what some of the other characters are going to be like here. Oh, hello. Okay, what do we have for power? We're running low, running low, running low. One thing that's interesting is when we pick up an item, it, uh, or, or a coin, it fades out in the same way that the animation of the coin disappearing is. That's going to be kind of tricky. Diamond. I wonder if there's something in this. Nah, I can't get the settings from here. That's okay. But I'm, I'm actually, I'm in, I'm impressed right now. I don't know. It, it's a, a simplistic game, but it is, ooh, it is very fun in that sort of base arcadey kind of a way. Like it, it is living up to its promise. See, like right here, I, I, I do know that that one is one that's fading away. But like, if there's one that's fading away right next to one that I've just picked up, it'll be kind of tough to tell. Gain a second of invincibility every time you attack. Oh, I kind of want to save it. I'm at full health. Let's let's save that. Let us save that. Okay. Uh, I should want you guys to move around before. All right, all right. Oh, <laughs> trying to trying to move into a pit preemptively. Oh. Good. Okay, the sword lasts a little bit longer than you'd think because it also has that kind of uh, transparent fade out that the weapons might. Okay, I'm 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 one down on health. I trust myself. Now entering the desert. Diamond shop. You do not have enough diamonds for this yet. Diamonds sold zero out of ten. Some what? Something happened. Do we? When we sell ten diamonds, do we unlock whatever that is. Restore one point of health for every diamond you give me. 60% of the experience you need to level up per diamond you give me. Great. I, I, I'm down one HP. Talk to shopkeep. You are new here, aren't you? There's something different about you. Okay. Oh, let's go. Upgrade. Hungry sword. Increase the attack duration with every kill. Ooh, if we kill something... It'll stack up. So this would be like a combo sword. Throws your sword after the attack is over? Okay, that sounds really fun. Wait, wait, wait. What, wait, what would happen if I add a health point to, to the health up there? It just, it just keeps on adding... <laughs> it keeps on adding vowels. <laughs> I would love that. Uh, let's try sword shot. I gotta... All of those upgrades seemed quite neat, though. I, oh, of course. Ran out right at the end there. I don't know how often I'm going to really be able to... Okay, so these guys are throwing some stuff. They are throwing some swords like I'm throwing some swords. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think the sword throw is more fun than it is um, useful. Potentially. I see that little scorpion down at the bottom. Kind of building up my combo for now. Great. Gain a second of invincible. Yes, I do want to do this now. Okay, wait for that to spawn first. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. Get. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what the hell, man? I saw my sword go to the right. I saw it go to the right. Ranger unlocked because I beat the forest. Cool. Uh, do I check out the range? Let's let's play as this this character again for a little bit here first. Uh, okay, so that was because we beat the forest. God, I, I love the soundtrack. I don't, I just I dig it. Okay, all right, when you're down like that, I don't know if he's untargetable or something. Some boots I want to get. So that does help our combo as well. Whoop whoop. Is a gold? What makes a golden coin special? Is it just a? I'm assuming it's just you make a coin show up. I don't think it's, like, a different coin. Light a fire on the ground when attacking and jumping. Again, I kind of want to save that for a little bit later. We, we did already take a hit, apparently, which is a bummer. Oh, my God. Ah, slip and slide. There we go. Ooh. That one's fading. Okay. 
So the jump is only free every once in a while, though. So we don't want to be, like, using it too much, because then we're going to start to really be hemorrhaging through our power. We'll just start losing it left and right. Coin, coin. Oh, and by coin, I mean diamond. That being said, we do want to use it more than we probably are. Nah. <laughs> okay. Oh, what do we have for power? Okay. Good, 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 good. Keep the combo alive. Keep the combo alive. We did it. 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 I do like that the combo kind of just stops once the room is over, too. Again, I'm going to save that until I get to the next level. Hope. I mean, I hope. Ah! The sword it ran out at the perfectly wrong time. Another pair of boots. They call me Two, two Boots McGee. Okay. Okay, good. I was not sure if we could, if we literally could make that jump or not. Okay, so what is this one? Uh, lay down an acid trail as you run. So this is when attacking or jumping. This is when we run. I'll tell you what. I'll use. I'll use one of them. Sure. Now entering the desert. Oh, well, we're entering the desert anyways. Uh. I mean, I'm already leveled up. Fine. Give me. Give me the health pack. I just want to see some more stuff. Increase your attack duration. That seems so nice. My attack is like continually going away a lot earlier than I want it to. Increase your luck. I assume that's just like drop rate of stuff. Refills the power up to four between rooms. Eh. I, I feel like I'm often ending rooms at near full power. Why did I get a... I'm not going to complain. I don't know why I got a combo there. We don't go with attack duration. That's the one that I can like... Oh my god. Just... <laughs> I, I pressed left, but I pressed left too early. I was trying to be cool... Or not cool. Trying to be uh, safe and preempt there. But I did not. That is a tricky little kind of um, whoop, slippery, slidey area down there. I'm trying to go down. Thank you. Good. Good. Oh, my. Can we jump over cactus? We cannot jump over the cactus. That is fine. Yeah, see, we're at four power. I will light a fire under myself whenever I move an attack. If we can get through... Oh, God, I'm trying... Trying... Thank you, fire. Oh my god. I got some kind of a shield, it looks like. Ah! Oh, I thought that... Wait, where am I? Oh, I lost track of myself so bad there. Okay, go, 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 go. I thought that maybe we could jump a double gap like that. But we could, but only if there was an empty spot on the other side. Block one hit from an enemy does not break combo. I'm going to do that because I am dying... Okay. But yeah, you need to be, like, really quick on your reaction, Whoop. deducing what's going on with such uh, minimal visual feedback from time to time. But I kind of like that. It really does, like, I would genuinely enjoy an arcade cabinet of this. Like, I'm just, for real, if, if I had just an arcade cabinet of this in my room, I would, I'd be super happy. Oh, wait, one was spawning on me, too. I was waiting. I, you son of a gun. I was waiting for the other one to spawn. Oh, my God. I, 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 I. Out of energy, I think this is what was going on there. Yep, yep, yep. Don't you dare attack. All right, we would have benefited from the plus power there. Fire when attacking or jumping. Are we going on to the next area? Now entering the graveyard. Uh, heal me. <laughs> Obviously, heal me. Okay, so we did get another level up. So I wonder, what's the deal with, um... Hmm. What's the deal with buying experience? I guess if you buy experience twice, you get an extra level at this by this point. I suppose that's sort of the thing. Hit points by one. Attacking refills your jump bar. Ooh. Tax with a sword below you while you are jumping. That sounds too fun to pass up. Did that work? I mean, like, I know I I know I killed, but like, okay, what's going on? That, uh, that, am I taking damage from something? What's going on? 
Okay. Okay, so that guy, he, like, explodes on death or something. Is that what's... Like, I'm fine? I think? Yeah? Okay. Did I, I didn't take damage there, did I? There were just some visual effects that seemed to imply I was maybe gonna take some hits. Oh my god. Get out. Hey, I tried. I don't know why I wanted to do something cool, but I didn't even kill that guy. I didn't even kill that guy when I jumped over him. Press the attack button. Oh, press the attack button to, to close out the menu. Gotcha. It was a jumping sword attack. And I did it, but he didn't even die. It doesn't matter. Uh, you did not get hit once during an entire area. Let's go. You beat the desert. All right, now we're definitely going to check out a new character. Very, very neat. Okay. So I'm curious. So yeah, we got like... We got the simple ones, which is health up, luck. Okay, now, now literally all of these other ones are completely different. Cool, 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 cool. I wonder if... Yeah, okay, I was, I was gonna say, I wonder if there's gonna be somebody who does not have luck. Alright, well, let's go with the ranger. I, I'm gonna imagine that this is gonna be quite different. I wonder how you unlock the new wardrobe stuff. I'm assuming, like, maybe winning a run. Or something with that character. Alright, how the heck is this gonna go? Oh my god, why did I just- I literally just forgot the movement button. Should we do a, a hot reset on that one? I love how you immediately turned into a gravestone like that. That's so funny. Uh, <laughs> sure, sure. Put a pin immediately in front of me. Oh my god, okay. Alright. That is- I am gonna lose my mind. Can we, like, not have a pit two tiles in front of my character when I spawn for the first time? Thank you. We did it. Man, I promise you guys, anybody out there who thinks that this is, uh, like, super, super easy and I'm just flubbing it up. Oh my god, do I suggest you try it out. Oh my god, do I suggest you try it out. We are we are constantly slip and sliding on ice, which is part of the kind of slidey arcadey charm of it. I wouldn't change that, but boy is it tough. I just shot an arrow left without moving left. That was That was some stuff like oh god, I'm trying I'm desperately just trying to get down there to attack that guy. Okay, good, good, good. Like, the fact that we can attack in a direction like that without moving there... What? What? What's your deal? He, like, enraged after a little bit. Uh, the fact that we can attack in a specific direction without moving that direction is very handy. Please. Attack over pits and everything. Like, the range is really nice. Oh, shoot. It's easy to, uh... Oop. To get complacent here and not go and pick up coin. I thought you were gonna actually attack me, you know? The enemy? It's gonna be easier to, to not pick up coins as this character, though, because we are. We don't have to move around quite as much. We can be a little bit more tactical, a little bit less um, wild throwing stuff out action style. Oh! I did not mean to go down here. Oh! I think just, like, standing still completely... Oh, I couldn't do it that time. Wait. If you run down to the wall like that, you can stand still, but you cannot, like... I can't run left and then press down to stop moving on the wall, to be clear. I have to be... I have to, like, straight up move down, huh? Like that, to make it work. Yeah, we're running out of power way more frequently with this character. Oh, that was risky. Oh, that was risky. Please, please. Uh, yeah, I don't think the golden coin is anything special. I think it's just... Alright. I think it's just uh, another coin, but you spawn it yourself. Like, it's just another way to spawn. Which is good, and we should probably try and find a way to utilize it, but... Uh, jumping over enemies is not going to happen nearly as often with this character, I don't think. Uh, jumping over pits and attacks, like, maybe is something we can do. Shoot an extra arrow behind you. Shooting arrows resets your combo timer. Oh. 
all collectibles will last longer. See, I wouldn't care as much about this on the other one. I'm gonna go with double bow because I know that this is YouTube and this is that's the uh, that's the funny option. But also, I think it's gonna be good. Oh God! I <laughs> slip and slide, man. Slip and slide. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one is, this character is a little bit tougher to get used to. Uh, but I bet you they are going to be easier once you played more. I, I, would, I would imagine having that extra range at your disposal. But you really do have to make sure you manage the... Um, whoop, whoop. Oh my god. Yep, your power. So what happens... I, can, I just can't attack when I'm low on power, or does something bad happen? Come here. Come here. All right, pick up the coins. Pick up the coins. Pick up the coins. God, I don't want to. Don't want to have to turn and attack from a one tile radius. But I. <laughs> he is. He is in such an annoying spot. There we go. Thank God. No, oh my. God. What? <laughs> I just walked over the pit. Oh, can you walk over the pit when the uh, the wave is done? I'm gonna say no to that. Oh, God. They take a long time to show up, which is good. You you have a lot of information, which is helpful when things are moving at about a million miles an hour. And you literally cannot stop moving ever unless you do this, like walk into the corner. Oh. Oh my god. But yeah, this is I wow. It's a much more passive feeling character. Or at least playing them in a correct sort of feeling way, it sort of feels like we're going to be a little bit more passive, which is cool that it feels so different with such a simplistic style game here. Oh, God. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Get the coins. Oh. Okay. So if you're not by them when they shoot the area, air arrow... Area. If you're not in the area when they shoot the arrow, uh, they kind of just shoot in a random direction, which is nice. If you're not in their line of sight, please, 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 please. Yeah, we're running out of power. Oh, I guess I used my shield. That's okay. Truth be told, it'll probably be valuable. Oh my god. Oh no, I'm out of power. I can't. That I beef. Well, it's fine. It li they lined it up for me again, anyways. Nice, nice, nice. Ay! Man, one tile sharp turns like that are very tough. They're very, 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 very tough. Boop. I mean, as you just get used to it over the course of time, I doubt it'll feel that way. Uh, I don't really care about the fire boots, I guess. Yeah, for, for this video here, like, since we're not good yet at the game, uh, I think that going for just HP stuff would be nice. Shoot an extra arrow behind you. It was really nice. Power coin appearance rate going up seems really, really nice. But the fact that that's a separate perk than the coin makes me wonder what that one even is, then. Hey! What? Why does my arrow get stuck in this pool of water? Is this not a pool of water? What is this, then? Oh my god. Oh no. I want the... <laughs> okay. We... <laughs> too tight, too tight, too tight. Uh, Proc to jump there. Hello. Doink. Doink, doink, doink. Doink, doink, doink. No! Oh, yeah. It does let you not fall into pits after the level's out. <laughs> Falling in... Pits are, like, one of the scariest enemies in this game right now. Okay, I'm out of power coins. There we go. Still out of power coins. I mean, I need to... Yeah, I need to jump enemies more, I guess. Oh, my God. Jumping when you're out of power reduces your health. Straight up. It's not that you can't jump. You literally... You can do it, but you start to die. Interesting. Oh, that was satisfying stuff right there. I want my golden coin, you jerk. Would you move? 
I made this coin myself. I cringe when he does not use the combo. Dude, it is so rough to just not even die. Doing the three combo coin business is uh, is not an easy feat <laughs> to, to juggle that as well. Let me tell you that for free. Okay. That was spooky. I'm like, I'm, I promise you I'm going to try and make it work. Whoop. I spawned a lot of coins and I can't get down there in time. Ah, fire boots? Fine. Uh, you know, am I ever, am I ever going to use the fire boots if I don't use them here? Okay, immediately. Deficit of coin. Short. Do we do that? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's a, like a poison vial in there. I just... Oh, <laughs> Goof City. Goof City. Oh, he dodged me. That's <laughs> so... Uh, feels like I'm playing DDR with uh, with my arrow keys. That's what it, Genuinely, that's what it feels like. Like, the amount I have to... I, I have to mash and preempt... It really feels like you gotta know what your plan is quite a bit before you act it out. So there is, like, there is a very strategic element to it, but you have to have, like, <laughs> really quick motor skills to match it up. Ah, oh, I didn't have a diamond. I guess maybe the one spawned and we couldn't, we just couldn't pick it up in time. Okay, so those guys dash a far way. They slide the whole way, even. Okay. Uh. Is that... Okay, I thought that maybe... Possibly that would not... Mess up there. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Like, I'll try to do a bit more jumping over pits. I think that that's the character... For this character, jumping over pits. For the other character, I think jumping over enemies more. For this character, I think jumping over pits routinely. What the hell? Okay. Uh. Good, good, good. Uh, hello, sir. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Wait, what? Was there? Did a new enemy spawn, or is that because he was a zombie? A little zombie. All right, let's check out the other characters here. We got the wizard. We got the cleric. Man, they. I mean, those two felt really different from each other. So what is your deal? I mean... Oh! What? So it's like an arrow, but it also does an AOE around the target. Okay. What's the drawback? I mean, I guess maybe there's... The, it's a possibility that there's just not one. Can I, like... Oh, my God. I can shoot at just the wall, too. And it splits off in two directions, so I could do, like, that. Oh, my God. That is so cool. Yeah, I don't know. Is there a drawback for this compared to the Ranger? Maybe, maybe my upgrades aren't as cool. Who knows? Could be any number of different things. I'm doing it. Oh, my God. You can't pick up coins if you are above them. Cool. God, okay, this character's nice. That is a really handy little extra ability. I can't shoot faster. Wait, did I just... Did I hurt myself? No, I did not hurt myself. I just got hit by an arrow at the same time that I threw that out. That was a much rougher level there. Not because of anything particular, but because of my brain. Huh. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's... It splits off in two directions. Sideways. Oh my god. Wait, did I like... I... <laughs> the pits are the worst enemy in this game. They are your worst enemy. They will be your worst enemy, I swear. 
I swear. Just as much, uh, and I think that that's on purpose. To make it clear, I think that's on purpose, that the pits are just as much gonna be your enemy as anything else. I got sniped! Oh my god! Alright. This character sucks! No, I'm kidding. That had nothing to do with the character. Uh, sometimes it's a good idea to save your diamonds for later. I mean, I like that conceptually, but I am not living long enough to save my diamonds. That's a, uh, that's a once you've gotten a little bit more accustomed to the game kind of a thing. Okay, let's just... Oh, God. Tight corridors. Nightmare fuel. Oh, I'm out of power. Okay. Get the golden coin. Ah, you son of a gun. It's not to make it clear. I don't. I, I really do. Oh, I thought you were going up this way. Oh. I got that. That is actually one of the trickier little things. A, a corridor like that, where it's three like that, because you have to turn and attack before your character intersects with them. It is a really tight timing. Really, really tough. Tight timing. Jerk. I'm out of power again. What's new? Oh, no. Um, I can't get the coin. There we go. I just... I, I did not want to... <laughs> that, that life was not going anywhere. I don't know why I'm having a tougher time now that we've switched to this character, because as far as I'm aware... It's not particularly different than the, um, than the ranger. There's a world where we have less health or something, and I'm not as sure of it. I, that, like, the, I could. Could be something to do with our speed stat or something. Like, the, the, all of those things are possible. Because I'm, and I'm just, like, not noticing them as much right now because there is just so <laughs> much immediate things to pay attention to at all freaking times. But I, I, I'm adoring this. This is, like, I play I play a lot of very hard games. Very hard games. And not to toot my own horn, but I, I play them very well. Uh, this is a challenge and I love it. Like, I love the way that this is a challenge. It, it really does... They did not skimp on all of the different, like, oh my god, that full board snipe, the double full board snipe, are you for real? Oh my god. They did not skimp on the difficulty or any of the little things that would make it truly feel uh, like an arcade style game. Uh, like, they capture the spirit instead of just being like, what if we just had a game and it looked, you know, like really low pixel art or low pixel art pixel counts art to be clear not like low quality it's all you know subjective Whoop. oh my god that was handy it's genuinely like they went in they went in they held oh ah you okay so when that guy gets red eyes he just chases you fully down he just fully chases you down is it like when you're in a certain amount of... Uh, sir, sir? I want that coin. It's maybe like when you're in a certain amount of tiles as him. Seems to be the case. I'm actually impressed by the warrior right now. I'm like, ah, shoot, I should have gone a little bit quicker. Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna have to do it. You suck, dude. Just, I gotta wait for my power to come back. Oh, there we go. And then now that one's gone. <laughs> this is... Coming into this level with nothing is is painful. Okay, I, uh, I've just realized my brain, brain activated. The thing that makes this character worse than the ranger is we don't have piercing. Duh. We have a different type. We have like a, a shot that can be safer. I guess I'll sacrifice that there. It can be safer, but um, I actually think that I I do like the piercing better. That That is 100%. That's the difference. Oh my god, what the heck? What the heck? Rough. I am not saving. I am going for the health. There's no point to save right now. Each attack leaves fire beneath your feet. Enemies slain with a direct hit leave 
behind a flame. I like that. Our combo's not going up, is it? It's just, like, flashing. Two points of power regenerate between each room. I don't really care right now. Well, this is actually proving to be more uh, impactful for this character probably than some of the others, but I like the idea of Inferno. I'm not going to, like, live or nothing. S to be clear, can we step on the fire? We can. I was willing to chance it. So it's only if they're slain by the direct hit, though. The, the people on the offshoot sides, it's irrelevant. Okay. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, more, uh, more than even the other characters, quick thinking, puzzle solving about, like, doing, uh, really quick decision making on, like, if I throw it here, is it gonna hit that guy on the side? Like, you gotta, you gotta really be able to visualize what your attack is going to do with this character from very far distances, very, very quickly. Like that. Okay. I'm loving the uh, the Inferno there. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, if I would have attacked faster, I would have gotten the double. Okay. Power back. Oh, my God. I, yeah, just fire. Ah, I just... <laughs> I wanted to turn. Combo loss. That's fine. I don't, I don't mind. Tracks nearby power points. Great. I want this. Okay. Huh, I just. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Screw you. I feel like um, I feel like playing with a controller would be better, but I I, I could not get my controller to hook up. I don't, which I don't think is, um, I don't think is the game's fault. I think that was just my controller's fault. I could not get it to hook up, but I do think playing with a D-pad would be infinitely better than playing with, um, the arrow keys. I really do. Uh, but mileage may vary on that one. So technically we've done the best with the ranger. Let's check out the cleric here for the last little bit. So what the heck is a cleric gonna do? With th okay. What the hell? Interesting. Interesting. Uh, is this not just better than the mages? I know we had that already. We had that thought already, but did the mages go out um two tiles wide? Is that is that the difference? That might be the difference. Oh, we can do that. Oh, you jerk. I think that might be the difference maker on that. Otherwise, otherwise they're theoretically the same. Or maybe this... No, they can do it on walls too. Oh, sir. I thought you were going to come down to me. Huh. 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 Hey! <laughs> Remove pits and this game becomes easy. <laughs> They, they are just as much an enemy. Dead serious on that. They are just as much an enemy as the enemies. I'm not saying that I don't want pits removed. T to make it abundantly clear. When I'm saying this game is difficult, I'm not saying make it easier. I am absolutely not. I, uh, I love exactly what is going on here. Boink. Like, it would be, this would be a very, very satisfying game to just, like, get really good at over time. Like, just playing a couple, like, a round or so, every here and there, you know? Uh, you coming, you coming up? Come down. Okay. Oh, I'm liking the cleric right now, which is weird. They feel exactly the same as the mage. I mean, I was liking the mage, too. But I'm sure that, you know, ah, uh, uh, you suck, dude. He came right into my face. You are, what are you doing? Uh, all right. What do we, eh, let's we'll play as the cleric again right here. Let's do another, another run or so. It's called comment farming. Uh, all right. Oh my God. 
There we are. What is... We've not seen this one before. But I'd like to see the, uh, the cleric's different items. Okay, so that takes power. So there's no point to... If we don't have a free jump, there's no point to jump a pit to, like, gain a coin. To just make a golden coin there. Increase total combo length by 25%. Oh, so, like, we can... It, st it stays for longer, so we don't, um... You don't lose it as quick. Oops, that is not what I was ho oh, oh, I was hoping. I did not have my free jump. Boink. Boink. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Is this character slower? Which would be actually a good thing in this game. Speed would not, is not necessarily beneficial in this. Wait for that. Okay, there we are. That arrow. Where that arrow going? Okay. I can't jump a three wide. All right, all right, all right, all right. No! Combo 28! Lay down acid trail. You know what? Sure, let's keep it all going. Okay. Uh. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no. Combo's on the line! Ah, you son of a gun. It's so tilting. It's so tilting. Nice, 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 nice. What the map? Wait, what? Oops. Coin. So it doesn't like, picking up something does not, picking up a coin does not fully refill your combo. It puts you just like halfway there. Now encountering the Badlands, the secret area found. <gasps> Whatever. Let's die. Power Blast. When at full power, the next attack's blast is larger by one tile in every direction. Ooh. Attacks penetrate through enemies. How, how does that function? Because it kind of already does. Are you saying, like, when I throw it out, it does a plus formation on every enemy that I hit? Running over holes causes no damage! Let's go! This game sucks. I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorcerer unlock, you found the Badlands. Warrior unlock, you reached a combo of 30. Great. I can't be mad at that. I can't be mad at that run. But, yeah, probably should have gone for the health there. Uh, this game is fantastic. This game is absolutely fantastic. It is very, it is very difficult, but I like that. I do not want this, I do not want this style of game to be made easier. That feels like that defeats the purpose. It's, like, you gotta look at this the same way you would look at an arcade machine style game, where you go in, it's very, very tough. You just keep on coming back, keep on playing it until you get through it, which is kind of like what the roguelike genre... It, they, it really took up that mantle of that in sort of the modern way, uh, but expanded it out a lot more. So this is kind of like a really, really seamless blending of truly just like an arcade machine game and a roguelike the best of like why people enjoy both of those things smash into the same thing each run does feel like uniquely different the characters feel very very different from each other uh and it's tough it's quick it's unforgiving but it's also sim simple enough that you know you know what's going wrong when it goes wrong when you get hit you know why like you know exactly everything that's happening uh, there's no ambiguity no like no frustration with the game mechanics you're just like i'm so mad that i fell into a pit it's like i'm so mad that i i did that it's not like i can't believe this game is doing this garbage to me it's it's just i can't believe i yeah i fell into another pit i can't believe that <laughs> you know like i spawned right by a pit which is just don't move don't move right away then i mean as much as that's difficult just you gotta like wiggle your movement back and forth something like that uh, as far as uh, what would I like changed with the game, there's like one thing. And it's like uh, when you pick up a coin, it does a little thing where it sort of uh, it fades up. And that faded coin looks exactly like a normal coin that's fading out. 
Uh, so you don't know you don't know if one's fading out because you've already picked it up. Like like you you do know because you've done it, but in the heat of the moment, because you have to focus on so many things, it's tough to tell like what is fading out because you picked it up, and what is fading out because you haven't picked it up yet. That's the old. That's like the only thing I would change in this entire game so far. Genuinely, so far, uh, really really cool. It, it's exactly it it's, does everything that it sets out to do. And it does it very well. It's exactly, exactly what it says on the tin. If you, if it sounded interesting to you at the beginning, I bet you it was interesting to you now. Uh, I hope you will check it out with the link at the top of the description. It is out now on Steam. Uh, no early access, no nothing. It's just a, it is a gosh darn completed game that is out right away to check out. Quester, check it out now. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you. Check out the channel. I cover indies and more every single day uh, with a huge extra specialty on roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something that is of interest to you, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. So I will hopefully see you next time. Bye!